It's your birthday, baby, it's your birthday, yeah. Who's gonna love you on your worst day, you talk? Okay, so we're back with another video. I'm gonna go ahead and get into my brows. Um, this is a quick run through. Everything is gonna be going, moving a little fast. We're gonna get, go ahead and do the primer. I'm gonna place that all over my face. And that's Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Primer. Now, every time I do a makeup tutorial, I do something different because I keep learning new things and I'm trying to find the best fit for me. Okay. Gonna blend, make sure that's moisturized. The nose needed a little bit more. All right now, girl. All right, we're going to go ahead and fix the pores. Now, my pores is a little big on my cheek area, and I use this product, and I feel like it works best. Like, it, you know, makes it look really small to minimize it. Um, just going to blend that in. And now we're going to get started on the eyebrows. Yep, Anastasia. And I used a dark brown um, dip brow. I tried to move quickly as possible because my eyebrows tend to take the longest. Um, every time I do my face, the eyebrows take the longest. I'm trying to different techniques here and there, but I always use the... Um, putting the hair up upward and then bringing the hair down to fill in the brows. Nothing too crazy. I just try to give it life type strokes so it can look natural as possible. But, you know. And I feel like when I rush my makeup, I feel like I do a better job because I don't have too much time to think about what I'm doing wrong. So I try to do it good at the beginning. All right, so we're going to conceal. And I use my um, Tarte concealer to give it that um, bridal look. And I just brought the concealer down on my eyelids because I want my eyeshadow to pop. But we'll get into that. I'm just going to show you guys how I just... Get the concealer, you know, down. And just use my finger to pat it to blend it in as good as possible. And we're going to go ahead on the Fenty on the top. This is a little bit closer to my complexion. So I decided to... Um, use that up top and now we're going to go in with the foundation i just realized i'm moving very fast in these videos the sasha buttercup to set the eyelids i've learned that from this girl i was watching on youtube she said if you have like creasing eyebrows and you and you feel like you feel you feel like you get oily it helps with setting your eyelids and i like the method it felt okay too Just gonna hold it, blend it in a little bit more. All right, we're gonna conceal under the eyes. I use my same two concealers. I put the brighter one in the middle and the other one um, close to my skin complexion at the bottom so it can blend as good as possible try to get rid of my dark circles but you know can't really get rid of them so but you could highlight them so it can look a little brighter and the air spun to set it the natural loose color and i've been using this method now and i like it because it works really good it helps with um the concealer setting under my eyelids it doesn't crease or anything and it stays so it's been working really good. 
And I ended up being late for my birthday dinner. Sorry, guys. I had to, I woke up late. I took a nap and I woke up late. I overslept and I was rushing to do my makeup. So this is the outcome. So I started on my eyelids. So what I used, I did not use the eyeshadow. I used the Fenty Trophy Wife um, highlighter as my eyeshadow. And what I did, I wet the brush with the Fix Spray, the NYX um, setting spray. And I just put that eyeshadow all over my eyelid at the at the inner corner. And, and it came out okay. Like it gave it that pop of color that I want. Because I was wearing all black. So. And then I went in on the outer corner with some black um, eyeshadow. And I just tried to blend it in as good as possible. I didn't want to do too much. Because I'm heavy handed. Y'all already know. Yep. Here we go. Now the thing with the the highlight, you have to go back in and um put some more cuz it it was coming off. That's the only thing about the um the highlight. Using it as an eyeshadow, you always have to go back in and blend it. You guys can see my brother in the background. <laughs> so bad. Every time I decide to record, he wants to walk in my video like he wants to be in it. Look at him. So I went back in there and touched it up. Clean up the outer area. Go ahead and blend it again. Use the bigger brush so it can all come together. I didn't think it was going to come out this good, guys. I really didn't think it was gonna even going to come out this looking this good. So I'm baking. I already put the um, the bronzer all over my face, and I used the Fenty Beauty Caramel um, Tone. And it's like a soft bronzer. It just helps with you know giving you that soft look. And I just left the Sasha Buttercup under my eyelids. Hit me under my eyelids, under my eyes, there on my skin. I'm just going to continue blending everything in. And I just tap away, swipe away the excess powder. I think I'm getting better at this, guys. Like, if I just keep working at it, I can become a pro makeup artist. I'm just going to put a little bit more powder there to give it that soft look. That smooth look. Gonna put some on the nose. I already, I think I had concealed my nose and everything off camera because I was rushing. But I just wanted to show you guys a little preview. Yep, gotta get those cheeks right. Gotta go a little higher on this side because it wasn't looking good at all. Blend that in. I don't leave that on too long because I don't want that that in some pictures your half of your face be looking mad ashy and i don't like that look and you already know with the eyebrows i'm gonna go in and um give it that ombre effect that blended ombre effect which i love i love eyebrows that look like this that you know it looks more natural when it looks like this i feel like it looks more natural and it fit my face so that's what I think. Gonna tap all the excess powder. And I use an eyeshadow to attach, like to make it all blend. And then I go back in with a brush and clean it up a little. And then I go back in with a beauty blender and take off the excess powder. But I'll do that later. I'm just gonna highlight my nose, the inner. Of my nose yeah and now we're gonna go back in with that um, beauty blender and clean it up 
the eyeshadow that I use to contour my nose proper more. I don't know what I was looking at. So I'm going to go back in with that um, Fenty Beauty bronzer powder and go all over my face again with it so it doesn't look um, too bright. My neck. Now, you you have to make sure your face matches your neck when you do your makeup. Just, just want to put that out there. And I'm going to go ahead and put some um, black eyeshadow under my eyes. Go ahead with the mascara. See how those eyelids pop, guys? Like, I really like this look. And from, to my surprise, I did not put any lashes on. I didn't. I, I don't know if I forgot or <clears throat> I was running really late. So I just put some mascara on my real lashes. And called it a day. I did not feel like putting on any lashes. I feel like I should have put some more gold on my eyelids. But whatever. Now that I'm looking at the video. And then. I'm giving it more of a smoky look. I'm going to go in with some eyeliner. I love eyeliner. I live by eyeliners. Like, I love to put that eyeliner at the bottom. It makes your eye, like, pop. It gives it, like, character and stuff. Look at that. You see the difference? One eye without the eyeliner and then one eye with. I'm going to go ahead and do this side. Oh, just poked the crap out of my eye. Look at that. Beautiful. I just want you to know you're my favorite girl. <laughs> and we're going to set it. <laughs> we're going to fan it. We're going to put some more. And then we're going to set it in with a brush. So it can sit there. Yep. You look good, girl. i put some more Sasha Buttercup around my lips. So I put that around my lips because I have laughing lines there. Like when I laugh and smile, those lines tend to come up. So I try to just make sure... You know, I set my face. Oop, something dropped. We're going to go ahead with the lips. Now, you already know, I always do my nude lips. There he go again. I'm so upset with him. I'm going to, like, curse him out after this video because... He gets on my nerves. Keep walking back and forth in my video. You already know my nip slip lipstick. And then some Fenty Beauty lip gloss. I can't remember the, I can't remember which name that I use. I'll figure it out. And there we go. My birthday girl. Those earrings I got from Aldo. It went like this outfit I picked out the day before. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later.